thing. And then Karen, I want you to introduce yourself, just like a 30 second, who are you, where are you, what do you do? And then what true choice we're gonna work on anchoring for you. And, and you already know, but I can walk you through it as well. So FOMO, yeah, fear of missing out. I had so much FOMO. I think that is actually a diagnosis. The FDA and the doctors might not diagnose you with that. FOMO is definitely the root cause of a lot of dis-ease. And uh, I, I had that. That's what led me to working seven days a week. Because if I missed an email, if I missed a text message, oh, if I missed a Facebook message, oh my gosh, you know, that kind of stuff. So Karen, take oh it away. <laughs> like that FOMO. Um, my name is Karen Lynn. And I came into, I mean, Lois's beta program, and I came into the beta program as a retreat planner. And we've been doing this what, about a couple of weeks now, Lois. Yeah. And so I wasn't going to do the beta program, um, but I, you know, we just were messaging back and forth. And I finally called her one day crying um, because I have been stuck in just unable to move my life forward for what I've now learned through the beta program the last seven years. Um, I had an incident that happened. Um, I lost two jobs in like six months time. And that second job with all the stories we tell ourselves, I just, I literally, I didn't try and get another job. And I've been stuck for seven years. So stuck in the pain, stuck in the building of the traumas, um, all the things that have happened since then. And I finally called her and I was crying and I said, I can't do this alone. All the stuff, all the crap had piled on so high that I literally physically couldn't handle it anymore. So I went into bro her program as a retreat planner and I, from the first recording we did, we talked about our, um, about like this exercise going back present and going forward. And I did it twice a day for the last couple of weeks. And I've now discovered that I'm starting to be able to have hope again, like a little child, I had lost that. And I'm realizing that I've always wanted to be a scuba diver, like work for a dive company, um, lead dive expeditions because I love that world and I love being able to share that. So I'm going and evolving from that into, you know, today, as you see me, and it's messy and it's been ugly and it's been a lot of emotions and having that courage to face it, which is really hard. I'm glad Lois has been guiding me because I couldn't do it on my own. I literally couldn't. And I, I saw that I was heading down this really scary path. So so thank you. I like this new Loa. She's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the beauty of when you shine your true light and uh, come from your <laughs> true nature and purpose. Um, I was a very different person six months ago and definitely, I don't know who that person was 12 months ago, but, um, and it's all perfect. It, it, it's all perfect. And that's part of what I shared with you guys. It's a journey, not a destination is just what if, what mm -hmm. if? You could live every day feeling completely full and happy and satisfied as opposed to some a day when I make X amount of dollars or some a day when I have the perfect job or some a day when my husband loves me more. I got rid of all of that. And now because some days, not a day. There's yeah. no some day in the week. I yeah. looked. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, let's, let's do your exercise and I am going to have you and I first acknowledge you and, um, thank you for doing this. Cause this is what I want all of you to do on your own. So what Karen's doing now with me, you can do on your own. And again, I'll explain at the end for members, you get a very deeply discounted price for a one-on-one -on -one session with me, mm -hmm. super duper discounted, um, to do the same thing. So if you can't do it on your own, you got, I got you, I got your back. So this is the, what Chris calls the orientational choices, AKA true choices. This is your truth. Your super conscious has been waiting for you to believe the truth that you were born with, which is living a life you love, being a predominant creator in your life. Cause again, whether we like it or not, everything we have in our current circumstances, we created that. 
We did. We did. No victim mentality, no blaming anyone. <laughs> we magnetized exactly what we have right now. However, I know you, we were talking earlier about this one, choosing the end result. Why, why is that one important to you right now? Do you mind sharing that? And then I'm going to have you close your eyes. Yep, absolutely. I choose the end result of living my true nature and purpose. Um, I mentioned when I was introducing myself that I started off as a retreat planner um, because I am, I am travel girl. I am adventure girl. Um, I am that person. I, I've been that for many years. Um, but at the end of the day, recently, it's been less than a week that I said to Lois, I can't believe I never thought about this before. I wish somebody would pay me to die. And that's exactly what I said to her. And then I realized, oh, no, wait a minute. I have thought of it before a lot. And I have been um, shut down. It's not, it's not a real job. It's not practical. That's not a career. And I believed all that junk. Hell, I was probably the biggest person in my head telling me that junk was true, that I can't, I can't do this. I can't have this. And spending years trying to find out who I, who my true nature, who I was, why I was here. So that's why I'm choosing this today because um, we are choosing to move to a tropical location and that unrealistic career, I've already started pursuing it and it is possible. So I want to work on actually stepping into that mentally and, and realizing that, yeah, this is really me and it's okay. I can go do that job. That's not a real job. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'm actually going to say, let's rewrite the story on that. So okay. I, I would, I would, I would erase the, uh, the job that is not a real job and it's your true nature and purpose. It's your, it's your passion. It's your bliss. It's, it's what you see yourself experiencing. And so that's, that's perfect. Oftentimes we hear those statements from our parents, our, our, our ex partners, our ex business partners, our current people in our lives. Right. And they're just holding a mirror to us, challenging us to actually step into our greatness and own our truth. So it's a beautiful thing. So what I want you to do is, you know, the drill, close your eyes, Karen. And again, take notes guys, because this is what I want you to do on your side. Also, maybe later on today, take a deep breath in through the nose and always, always doing your best to count up to four. Go ahead, breathe in, take another sip at the top of air. And then exhale fully. Ah, I'm working on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's great to vocalize when you exhale and just release. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Shaking it out. Go ahead. Keep your eyes closed, though. Keep your eyes closed. So now I want you to picture. Picture yourself in that fulfilled image of living your true nature and purpose every day every day i want don't don't say yet just just start visualizing seeing what you are seeing i know scuba diving was a part of it but also just be open to whatever else floats floats in front of you what are you hearing what noises is it the ocean is it words of affirmation from your partner? Is it words from your clients that you're working with? What are you hearing? So again, we've covered seeing and hearing. What are you smelling? What smells coming forth? Taste. Maybe you're tasting that salty ocean. Maybe you're tasting, maybe you're having food that you love. Maybe you're on the, the big island taking a break in between serving your clients. What are you tasting? Last but not least, what are you feeling? What are you noticing in your body, that embodiment of all of the sights, smells, tastes, and heard things? What are you feeling in your body? Notice where, what body part? 
notice what is it tight is it hot is it tingly is it strong is it light take it all in just for a few more moments Now go ahead and take another deep breath in. And exhale whenever you're ready. <sighs> and go ahead, come back to us whenever you're ready. Open your eyes, perfect. And now I want you to repeat back to us all of the things, the sights, the smells, what you heard, the taste, the feels, and where in your body. You live on the big island. And it's beautiful. It's sunny. And there's always just a light little breeze. Um, you can always smell that salt air, hear the waves, hear the birds singing. I smell the beautiful plumera trees, that light floral scent coming through that, that heavy, intoxicating smell of the Kona coffee. And I can taste the coffee. I can taste those ice cold mangoes that are just sweet and juicy and they're making a mess all over your hands. And I, there's butterflies, just excited little butterflies turning around in my stomach. They're all like, Woo -hoo! so excited because every day I hear laughing and people are happy and I love serving my clients. I love meeting the new people and I just, I soak in all the comments that they made, like, oh my God, that was the coolest thing I have ever seen. And wow, did you see that? Did you do that? Did you, wow, did you notice this? And being on the boat and the rocking and hearing the waves and, and all that, all that beauty. It's, the weather's always perfect there. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm like a little kid giggling. I'm like, <laughs> like every day, who are we going to meet today? Who's going to come to the island to visit? And it's just, it's, it's just this childlike joy and excitement. Every day is new possibilities. And I know I'm going to meet new people and form these amazing new relationships that are going to last a lifetime. I love that. I love that. And did I you like guys, that. Did you guys see <laughs> like how she showed up differently? And it was, it was actually less than five minutes because I'm just being mindful of time, um, how you shifted. And so I have one more little part of the exercise that we're going to do. And I wanted to show you, because I didn't tell you this before, so you could see it. We're going to get back into closing your eyes and getting to the height. I want you to really just feel it all the way up to your head, all the way down to your toes, all of that mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the highest of heights, and I'll walk you through this, we're just going to just take a minute. Then I want you to pinch the web of your thumb between your thumb and you see what I'm saying? So mirror back to me what you're going to pinch. Show me what you're going to do. Yes. So when you get to the height of that amazing true nature and purpose, like I'm just going to say it almost like an orgasm, right? I want you. <laughs> Left that part out. <laughs> I, <always say> that. <laughs> anyway, I love it. I love it. Anything goes here, guys, just letting you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> so go ahead, take, go ahead and close your eyes. Take that deep, full belly bend, blah, 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 belly, blah, you know what I mean? Cleansing breath in. Exhale it out whenever you can. <sighs> and I want you to go back to the sights, the tastes, the smells, what you heard and all the feels, the butterflies, all of it, and just let it expand, let it expand, let it expand, let it full every centimeter cell in your body, all the way up to your crown chakra, to your top of your head, all the way down to your toes. Feel it expand, 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 expand to that epic climax, and then go ahead and pinch Pinch that part of the thumb that I showed you. Feel it all, feel it all, feel it all. Make that connection. And then whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes.
come back to us. Breathe if you want to do a breathe in and out again. So did, were you able to get to the height of that again? Mm -hmm. So the, the goal, guys, is now, Karen, whenever you have those moments, hello, darkness, my old friend, the emotion, the shame. I actually want you to think about that right now. Think about your ex telling you you can't do scuba diving because that's not a real job. I want you to think about, oh, I got to do everything to please my parents, my family, my friends, what they think I should do. I want you to think about that for a second. Thank you for, for allowing me to take you there, okay? Because I know it's can be really not so great. I want you to, to pinch. Maybe the other side. <laughs> you feel that shift? Yep, I feel it now. Yeah, closing your eyes helps. Again, sight, smell, taste, feel, emotions, the butterflies, all of it. And just so you guys know, the goal here, just so you know, Karen, too, and you're so beautiful. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. She did this spontaneously, guys. I just asked her this morning. Okay. Um, we can't, you know, I don't want you to drink over, work over, people please over, all the things we do, right, to not live our true nature and purpose. However, feel it, be with it. And I know Karen knows how important this has been for her. I had one woman who explained it this morning. It was a, a you know, bathroom floor, fetal position, crying experience. We can't avoid those. Those are really, really important experiences. However, what we can do to love ourselves, for me, I like to put my hand on my heart when any of those dark friends come around and try to take me down try to put me in a, a bad place or go backwards because I've gained so much ground. Sometimes it is three steps forward, two steps back. It's that dance, right? Of the darkness of the tunnel and then finding the light at the end, right? It's a dance. So it's important to recognize it's okay when those dark moments come. And now you can choose to anchor. You can anchor to bring yourself back to, okay, okay, that's right. These things are normal. This is healthy. This is real. This is important. My body is keeping the score and has kept the score and is showing me what I get to release right now. So we release it through crying. We release it through journaling. We release it maybe going for a run or a walk. We release it by revisiting our magnetic alignment meditation. We release it also by visiting and visiting that anchor. And I felt a lot of struggle through that because um, you took me through like literally the highest highs and down back down to lowest lows. And I found myself struggling when I was, when I was doing this. So does it, does it get better? better easier? With yes. <laughs> yes. <Exercise. laughs> yes. It's hot. It's cold. It's dark. It's light. Yeah. Was, yes, was, and I want to acknowledge you, Karen, because <laughs> just so you guys know, she had no idea what was coming. She fully trusted me. And so I'm glad we could do it in real time yeah. because it's when we don't have that lifeline, that, that phone, a friend, um, maybe there isn't someone there who can allow us to cry on their shoulder. We get to love ourselves and we get to mother ourselves or father ourselves. We get to live our true nature and purpose and crying is part of it, feeling lost and alone and afraid and separate and not enough is part of it. And yet, how do you fill your cup? And it's it takes time and repetition is the mother of learning. So part of mothering ourselves is putting the hand on the heart, anchoring with the web of the hand, revisiting the emotion and getting into the end result of that and so it's the yin and yang, it's the dance. And yes, it will get better. There may be days where it doesn't seem like it, 
and it's okay to be with that and allow it and be curious and compassionate to yourself when maybe it doesn't shift as warm and fuzzy and as fast as you think it should. Exactly. It should be fixed by now. But wait, I don't have to be fixed. So. You're not broken. Yeah. And today was the first day, I think it was the last message on, on one of those, the one slide that has like the, the dark and underline and stuff where it says, you're fine as you are. And about an hour ago was the first moment that I really believed that, that I'm, I'm perfect. I'm okay just the way I am. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, thank you. You know where to reach me if you have any questions. I'm going to go and bring you back. We went over time. Um, hope you guys are understanding and appreciative. I feel like today was um, there's a lot to cover. And to be able to get hit home this one thing. This is just one aspect of the magnetic mind. So I don't see any questions in the Q&A feature. Um, that's why I'd mentioned earlier, if you have them, please put them there. So just in summary, as we wrap it up, revisit these true choices. If you are feeling stuck, obviously there's also the land of plenty, the land of plenty. And I hadn't gone over this anchoring exercise. So that's why today is actually going to be, I'm going to title this call anchoring. And I explained all the reasons why I did the live exercise with Karen and make sure you sign up again for the 23rd. I will need a, a volunteer for that. Although I think I already have one, I'm probably going to pull from my beta group, but if I don't end up having someone, I'd like to have it be a member. And then last but not least, I do see a quick question. So I will get there. If you are like Lois, I can't do this on my own. I'm, I'm feeling a little stuck. Just remember, you do have the ability as a member, non-members, it's a lot more of an investment for just 77 bucks. And I have, I, I limit, I cap you. you. You can, you can only have two of these. Um, but I want to help you with either your magnetic alignment meditation or this anchoring. So it's limit two per member. So just remember that if you need more then that would be more of a one-on-one -on -one coaching conversation or the good news is I'm gonna have another group um, potentially starting in mid-July. Sort of depends, summer is a little messy. It's a lot of people now like, woohoo, travel, summer. At latest, my next group will be fall. Um, so if you want one of those one-on-one -on -one sessions, it's only $77 again, max at two per person per member um, but it can help you do what i did with karen today working on your land of plenty or your magnetic alignment because those are the things that are the foundation before you can even really truly begin the recoding process which is in the book also however we find and, and chris actually taught me this in my certification program with the magnetic mind is a lot of times you want to get to the, the tactics, the, the, the to do's the, you know, but if you don't start with the stuff that I've started with, that stuff doesn't matter. It's another coping mechanism to finding the answers outside of yourself. When all of the answers are within you, I'm just here to help unearth for you to find them. How long is it? What usually are you talking about the, I saw, I see you, Shanna, the, the one-on-one -on -one session. You get a full hour. Great question, actually. Thank you. I, if that's what you mean. Uh, do you mean the one-on-one -on -one session, Shanna? Are you talking about the class on the 23rd? This class. This class is usually 45 minutes. This class is usually 45 minutes. So I went over. Um, and I know I'm seeing you next, Shanna, for our one-on-one. -on -one. So in summary, again, email me if you want the payment link for the $77 option and you get actually a full 75 minutes one-on-one -on -one with me um we break it up however you need to but i find that the, the 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 hour is needed for the first and then you get a 15 minute follow-up integration check-in call for 77 bucks anybody else i'm charging 250 bucks for that um and again i limit to how many 
times and how many people that I can do that for or with. All right, guys, we went over time. Um, hope this was helpful for you today. Anybody have an aha? Uh -huh, Want to drop in the chat anything? What did you like best about today's class? I'd like your feedback before I, I drop. Any, what did you like best? Anyone want to drop in the chat? Interesting. Okay. Take note of that. Is that normal? Do you get distracted on all the Zooms that you're on? Not good or bad. Just curious. Ask yourself, what is that teaching you? Awesome. Thank you, Jose. Yeah. Yeah. First step is getting that magnetic alignment going back into the past, the present, the future, and sitting with that land of plenty, and then be from those two things. If you don't know your true choices, then there's even deeper work to be done, right? But then being able to anchor into those true choices every day to fortify your practice. This is meant to be a daily practice. This is meant to be a part of your sacred rituals, your, your daily routines to help you become a magnet and leave behind the things that do not serve you. Bless and release and leave behind the things that do not serve you. That's a muscle. You don't just automatically read a book and that just happens for you. That's work. That takes a lot of bravery and a lot of courage. So when I acknowledge Karen, um, Ms. Shanna, they're in, they're in, in my uh, beta group. Uh, I know Jose, you and I have done some one on one work. Andrea, I know you're working working diligently on this. I just want to acknowledge all of you because this takes bravery and courage. You can see there's not a lot of people here today. Most people show up for the lead generation and the sales tactics. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying you're going to make a lot more money, a lot more joy, a lot more happiness, a lot more authenticity. Work a lot less by doing this work. This is why I'm here. This is my purpose and my passion, truly. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, good, 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 Karen. Have not been as distracted as, yeah, it's all about coming more conscious and more present. That's all. Your subconscious is where the monkey mind lies, right? That's wanting to keep you distracted. And um, we want to tap into that super conscious. So go out and be awesome, guys. Be amazing. Create, create, be the predominant creator in your life. Don't allow other people to distract you. Again, that's a journey. It's a muscle. It's all good. I'm not berating anyone here. Just remember that when someone else is distracting you, it's a test. It's a test for how in a, how much in alignment are you or are you not? And uh, it's when we're out of alignment that distractions are so easy to take hold of us and um, keep us not living our true nature and purpose. All right. Love you guys. Have an amazing week. Here's to your best health your best wealth and your best wisdom. Hope to see you. Um, Sean will be teaching the lead generation sales strategy class on uh, business by referral on Wednesday. Um, and then we have meditation with Bhakti next week, just to kind of gentle remind you of what's coming up. All right. Take care. Bye-bye for now.